guys hello guys hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is bola harrison and as always i remain your number one academic youtube content creator yeah it feels good to say that anyways oh my god so thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel i see the subscriber count and i just want to use this medium to say thank you 200 subscribers like to me that's a lot and i appreciate it thank you for taking out your time to watch my videos thank you for sharing thank you for leaving your comments liking my videos and above all hitting that subscribe button you guys are the best to my new subscribers my existing subscribers thank you to those who are still watching and you're being skeptical if you should hit that subscribe button and follow this girl don't worry on this youtube channel you will see that there are a lot of benefits of subscribing i talk about education i talk about migrating through study route I talk about travel destinations for students and I vlog, talk about lifestyle and every other thing, every area in between. Okay, guys, so um, on today's episode, <laughs> in today's video, I'll be talking about proof of fund for Czech Republic study visa. Yeah, a lot of the mails I got and a lot of comments I got on my social media page, everyone was just asking how much is the expense to migrate to Czech Republic, especially those who are in Africa and also how much is the proof of fund that you're expected to have in your bank account for you to successfully show the czech republic consulate consular that you have enough means of subsistence to take care of yourself in czech republic and be granted that visa because the major thing with everything is like you want to get that visa to avoid rejections to avoid you know being sent back and all of that so in today's episode i will share everything i did what my what i know my friends did i know what i know people are doing and how you can avoid visa rejection by getting your proof of fund right so stay tuned keep watching i think i got your attention so please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share all right guys so welcome back and i'm sure that by now you already hit that subscribe button and um, thank you for doing that thank you for subscribing um firstly i want to say that concerning this proof of fund one reason like the major reason behind me picking czech republic as a state study destination when i was doing my application back home in nigeria was because of the affordable proof of fund like if you're a diy student or you're an independent student you are doing this travel migrating through travel um, through study by yourself on your own it's really important to consider if you can afford that country's proof of fund to show that you can take care of yourself and successfully get your visa it was that important for me so when i did my research and i discovered that the czech republic proof of fund had to be in your account and it was not that much i was like okay this country is just i'm just going to put my all into it now before i go into the proof of fund i want to talk about the expenses you incur when you are you know on this czech republic study route number one thing you have to take note or you are going to spend money for is application fee but for me really the application fee is it's it's really okay because it ranges from 600 to less than a thousand check crowns so most universities 600 650 some is within 20 euros to 30 euros within that price range you won't spend more than that and there are universities that you don't pay application fees such as university of aradre Kralove. you don't pay application fee because you apply via email and then but the notification fee is a bit high which i will come back to the second thing you are going to pay for once you get the admission from the university they would ask you to send um your certificates to them please do not send original certificates to any university in czech republic unless you are certain that the university stated in their message to you that they will be returning your original certificates to you but in any case once the university tells you that you gain admission informally because it sent the first one via email once they notify you of your admission what you want to do they will ask you to go through a process called nostrification what you nostrification means is that they have to evaluate your credentials you have in your own country if it equates to what they have here in czech republic each universities have different nostrification fee you have to pay a fee for them to nostrify your, your do your notification for you this not notification fee ranges from 600 to less than a thousand check crowns there are other universities that don't also do this process i know of university of Pardubice do not do the notification process so you are free if you are applying there you are not paying for notification fee 
And there are some universes that would not do notification for you that will ask you to go and do it yourself and send it to them. You also have to put that into consideration when you are applying for your Czech Republic um, um, study process. The third expenses you need to make or you will be making after the notification is sending down your admission document to Nigeria. Again, some universities would take your document for you, send it via post, but post is really slow and it takes a lot of time to arrive your destination. Um, sometimes it can get lost. So people or students opt for DHL. If you opt for DHL, which is the major courier service that Czech Republic University use or uses, you will be paying the cost for it yourself. Now, there are some universities that would also send a document for you for free. Again, you have to ask whoever you are relating with as the university or faculty coordinator. Now, um, the DHL fee, you pay it, but what, um, how do I say it? Like a tip I'm going to give you in this video is this. Whenever you want to pay for your admission document, do this. Take your criminal record certificate and your medical certificate and ask your coordinator if he or she can receive them on, on your behalf from the translating company and send them together with your admission document. It is really better that way. It saves you cost. So if you are paying for DHL, you don't pay for DHL from the translating company. You send from the translating company to your university. Then your coordinator, who is your contact person, takes them with your admission document and send them to you straightforward so that way you are cutting down cost but the disadvantage is that if you do not get visa appointment before the criminal record certificate expires it means you have to do a new criminal record certificate and you have to pay another translation fee and courier fee so you really have to do a lot of calculation on timing timing matters for this Czech republic or you can opt to do your criminal record certificate translation on your own later especially if you are in um, nigeria or you are among the nine african countries that uses the nigerian embassy you have to do a lot of calculation to avoid spending too much money now another expenses you are going to make is translation when you get your admission document before you start hustling for visa appointments or when you get your visa appointment you have to translate your documents, the criminal record certificate and the medical certificate from the English um, from English language. If your country is speaking English, for instance, you translate from English to French, um, to Czech language. I don't know why I keep saying French. Because those in Cameroon, I don't know if it comes in English or in French. Either ways, you have to translate whatever documents you get to the Czech language. You take it with the original extract with you for your visa appointment. Another expense you will be making if your university did not send your criminal record certificates and medicals to you together with your admission documents. It means that you will be paying for another DHL service from the translating company down to Nigeria or down to your home country. That's another expense. I don't know how many counts that is by now. Now, another expense is again you will incur is the medical um, um, examination and the criminal certificate. In Nigeria, criminal record certificate is now 30,000 Naira. That is aside from the little money you give here and there. So you pay online, you get your criminal record certificate, you do every other thing. Now, medical certificate, you can get it at any government hospital to, get, to do your medical certificate for Czech Republic student visa. It ranges from around 7,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira, depending on which state in Nigeria and which hospital you are using to do this. After the criminal certificate and your medicals, and you are now in the process of super legalization so what you are paying for now you are paying for legalization at the ministry of foreign uh, ministry of education first in nigeria the ministry of education is not so expensive but then you're paying at the ministry of foreign affairs which according to the news i'm getting now is getting you know it's going the price is really increasing at a very ridiculous uh, um, rate and after doing that you need to take the document to the embassy and super legalize each document your university has asked you to submit for notification at the embassy you super legalize for right now the price for the um, super legalization at the czech embassy in nigeria in abuja is 19,200 or 19,500 so if you're going for masters you are super legalizing your bachelor's and transcript that's 19,500 naira times two um, you also have to legalize this criminal record certificate and the medical certificate at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So these are the expenses you are making. And after doing this, 
another expense is remember you are mailing these documents to check um university some university will tell you to scan to them first but after doing this you have to send the photocopies of these documents to the universities but when you make the photocopies i think the last expense you make is notarization you have to certify using a notary lawyer that these documents are original copies of the original <laughs> notary also in nigeria can be a bit expensive you can range from 1000 naira to i think 3000 naira per page when you do all of this then you send it via courier to the university you are dealing with or you are applying to and after this you just relax and the next thing is to start looking for ways to pump your proof of fund yes the proof of fund hit that subscribe button keep watching so the proof of fund the duration for czech republic proof of fund that you need is three months and the amount is 110,260 check crowns and i think currently it's been increased to 115,000 there about please always confirm the required proof of fund before you go ahead because going down a little thousands can affect your visa application and we are trying to avoid rejections here so Currently, it's one thousand. It's one hundred fifteen thousand thereabouts. But when I did mine, it was one hundred ten thousand two hundred and sixty check crowns. So I'm going to be using that amount to do my um, example. Now you need one hundred ten thousand check crowns, um, and you need it for three months to be in your account, your personal account carrying your name, not a sponsor's account. But if you are going to use a sponsor's account, I will come back to that later. Now you need one hundred ten thousand check crowns. How much does that? you know how much is the equivalent in naira in naira you need about 1.8 million naira conveniently czech republic embassy does not use black market you use the bank rate to maybe naira to euro because what i did was i converted the 1000 110000 check crowns to euro and i converted euro to naira it is easier that way so at the bank rate i think google should give you about 1.8 million or less or less than 2 million naira is what Google is going to give to you and if you convert it using a Nigerian bank or a Cameroonian bank or wherever um, currency your own country is using I just know in Naira it is less than 2 million Naira now this is what we do or this is what students do we know the required amount is 2 million Naira excluding your tuition fee but if you have not paid tuition fee just put your mind in looking at 3 million Naira or 3.5 million Naira if you've paid your tuition fee just have at least 2.3 or 2 million to 2.5 million naira. People have gotten their visa with less than 2 million or 2 million naira. So if you've paid tuition fee, you can have that. The major thing is that the 110,000 check crowns reflect in your bank account for you to take care of yourself. Now, how do you show this? You need to have good inflow and outflow of cash. You could just do a transaction, buy a charge card on your account of 500 naira, send a thousand naira to a friend and ask the friend to send it back to you. Ask your parents, ask your friends to just, oh, please, I want you to receive this money. Send money in, um, send money out and receive money in. It's that the way you can keep the account active and running. You don't, you don't just put money two days to your interview and expect not to get a rejection. And you don't put money one week to your interview and expect not to get a rejection. It might work for others, but to be safe, just put the money there. At least if you don't have up to 3 million naira in the first month, make sure that by the third month, your account is already reflecting about 3 million naira or 2.5 million naira in that account. So I had less than 400,000 naira in my account in the first month. In the second month, I was gradually building the account up. And in the third month, I made sure that I had, in the second middle of the second month, I made sure that my account was reflecting a substantial amount of money. Now, to make sure that you are going to get your visa, if you have not paid tuition fee, because some universities will tell you not to pay tuition fee, until you get your visa. For instance, Masaryk University, University of Aradet Kralov, you don't finish paying your tuition. In fact, you don't pay your tuition until your visa is already with you or until you get to Czech Republic. So in this case, you can have 3 million naira in your account and you are sure to a large extent, if all your documents are intact and God is on your side, you are sure of getting your visa. At the end of the day, you are going to make all these expenses. In Nigeria, just I don't know how much I can total it up, but these are the expenses you need. You can do your calculation. The proof of fund is 110, 115,000 check crowns. Just to be safe, let me just say 
115,000 check count. I think, or I hope that I've been able to clarify the Czech Republic expenses and proof of fund in this video. If I did or if I did not, please let me know in the comment section below. Leave your questions and please don't hesitate to reach out. As always, I will try to help as much as I can. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.